But let's focus now on the New South Wales election. And I love this story, and I'm just really annoyed that commuter anger over bus no-shows has not been a headline that we have seen throughout this 17-year-long campaign that I feel that we have been having. Because voters on the northern beaches contending with cancelled buses, queues and stranded school children are preparing to take their frustration to the polls. This, Emily, these stories are what should be winning and losing elections and this is how you should be holding a government to account and what you should be expecting an opposition to fix. It, yeah, absolutely. I mean, this is affecting people's daily lives. And I feel like yeah. they always come up right before the election when this should be a conversation we should be having throughout. If buses aren't showing hmm. up on time, our infrastructure is failing the people that most need it. Um, people that take buses to work and not Ubers tend to be the people that are more on that edge. They are the people that are financially mm. dependent. And we are really undermining mm. that group of people when little things like the bus not showing up or not showing up when it's supposed to show up or skipping a stop. Mm. The, these are issues that affect people's daily lives. And I think that's what our politicians should really be focusing on. Yes. So, Jenna, in the northern beaches, it's one of those areas where they'd be seen to be taken for granted by the Libs, but there's actually credible candidates, both on the independent Teals side, that are potentially mm. threatening. So it's partly why this story is of, mm. is of greater relevance. Mm. Make your seat marginal if you want to get things done. That's my only message to the, the electorate of New South Wales, that's for sure.